So there are two types of rigidity which are seen in Parkinson's disease and some other neurological disease. And this is known as what well, cogwheel rigidity and pipe rigidity. All right. So some people kind of like uh, confuse the two terminologies, which I'll be taking my time to talk about differences between them. All right. So we are looking at the differences between cogwheel rigidity and lead pipe rigidity. So cogwheel rigidity, so this is re cogwheel rigidity, and this is what lead pipe rigidity. One thing I might note from these two types of rigidity is cogwheel is like intermittent. The rigidity is coming and going, while lead pipe is just what? Consistent rigidity, all right? So let's look at it. We'll talk about cogwheel rigidity and lead pipe rigidity, and you get to know the differences between the two concepts, all right? So um, here is a comparison between cogwheel rigidity and what lead pipe rigidity, which are both types of what muscle stiffness, and they are commonly observed in conditions like what Parkinson's disease. So for cogwheel, you see cogwheel, they also put out the wheel here. So this wheel is like what spokes, like the wheel come into each other and go out. So it's intermittent, come go, come go. You get all right. So for description, you see that cogwheel rigidity is a jerky, is a ratchet like movement when the limb is passively moved, is moved by someone else. Active motion is when you are moving by yourself. Passive motion is moved by someone else. Okay. So in this cogwheel rigidity, there is an intermittent catches or pulse throughout the motion. Okay. What is the characteristics of cogwheel rigidity? Jerky movement. Uh, the resistance to movement comes in a series of catches resembling the motion of cogwheel. Okay? There's intermittent resistance. The muscle alternates between resistance and relaxation. The whole thing is cogwheel is on and off. Lead pipe is continuous. You get presence. It is observed in Parkinson's disease due to what? Combined effect of rigidity and tremor. As you are being rigid, you are trembling. Okay? This is what cogwheel rigidity, right? On and off, like a cogwheel. Okay, that's what they put that cogwheel. They're talking about lead pipe rigidity. Description Lead pipe rigidity is a smooth and consistent resistance to movement and is similar to bending a lead pipe. That's why they call it lead pipe rigidity. What is the characteristics? There's uniform resistance, it's not on and off like cogwheel. Okay. So the resistance is constant and smooth throughout the entire range of motion. There's no intermittent catches. So unlike cogwheel rigidity, there are no jerky movements. Okay, presence it is typically found in Parkinson's disease, and this is due to what increased muscle tone. This one was due to what combined effect of rigidity and tremor. Okay, red pipe is what increased muscle tone. All right. So that's it between the different type of these rigidities that can be seen in what. Parkinson's disease.